Hello, in this video I will introduce the basic uh, programming structures that every programmer needs to know. So wha what is uh, programming? So we have a uh, idea to solve a problem um, and so the, the w that idea has to be translated into steps and uh, they are translated into code. Uh, so it's really steps written in a restricted English language. Each language has a little bit of, d each programming language has a little bit of different rules. So they have their own restrictions, each one. So we need to write the steps in that uh, restricted language. So the coming up with the idea and uh, uh, really writing it, writing the code and uh, able to run, it's really logical thinking and uh, taking it through the execution. So um, that's what it is programming is. Um, few people sometimes tell me that you know it's a programming is uh, as hard as solving logic puzzles well logic puzzles can vary in complexity you know so the simple puzzles uh, uh, small puzzles can be pretty simple whereas uh, for example large maze can be a lot harder to solve so uh, i would say programming in general is uh, simpler than logic puzzles Mo most uh, logic puzzles you know so they are pretty reasonably simple one simple logic puzzles maybe they are equivalent sometimes i also hear uh, comments uh, from few students saying oh programming is like a learning a foreign language uh, not at all true, you know. So it's a learning to program you know, a programming language. Uh, learning a programming language is a lot simpler than learning a foreign language. Okay. Um, in fact, once you learn one uh, programming language, learning other languages uh, become uh, uh, reasonably easy. Okay. Um, you cannot say that for most foreign languages. Programming is uh, not a cryptic activity, even though a lot of people believe so. Um, why? Because uh, programming is something you learn little bit at a time. You start with a uh, simple example, simple problems. You kind of build on, um, build on that. You know, so if we rush through these things very fast, then it can look like a cryptic activity you know so we really need to take time to understand the uh, understand the basics understand the concepts kind of progress little bit at a time uh, then it's not uh, not a cryptic activity it's almost like a child growth if you want to look at it you know we we all you know we had to as babies we had to crawl you know then uh, learn to walk you know then uh, uh, learn to run so on so you cannot just uh, uh, as soon as you are born, you cannot just get up and run. So, if you try to do that, then it will look like a cryptic activity. <laughs> okay. Cryptic and very complex activity. Um, <coughs> so, the programming concepts, the underlying concepts are very, very similar to the daily activities or uh, very common activities. Even if you don't do them daily, there are common activities people do um <coughs> in daily lives. Okay. So I call the programming as like a technical common sense because uh, we apply common sense for things we do every day, right? So it is kind of like a technical common sense. That's what I call. Um, let's look into a few daily activities or very common activities we do, okay? A recipe to make your favorite food assembly instructions for a toy or uh, even any equipment I guess uh, it came by a package came so you have assembly instructions in the package to build that uh, product from the components 
getting ready in the morning for uh, uh, for college or work you know wherever we are going right really getting ready in the morning uh, there are the few things we do right um, <coughs> so you have to go from one place to another in the city maybe we are going from one side of the city to the other side of the city um, or maybe one uh, place in a city to maybe even another city you know we want to visit somebody there so what uh, what is a common thing to all of these uh, seemingly different activities so there's a common underlying thing right um, particular day let's take the first one recipe to make your favorite food so recipe typically contains ingredients right the first line is ingredients we need so then uh, really step by step process right so if you follow that steps uh, correctly do accordingly uh, you will get something uh, your favorite food will be edible you will enjoy it if you don't follow the instruction correctly if you do uh, instruction in the wrong order or uh, you miss few ingredients then uh, output may not be very good <laughs> right same thing applies for assembly instructions you need the components then you have to follow that instruction order um, because we build uh, from the basic components, we build a uh, little bit complex components. That by putting the complex components together, finally we make the real product, final product. Uh, if we don't follow the instructions again, we will never reach the final stage. Getting ready in the morning. Obviously, we have to take bath. You know, yeah, we have to put on the dress. You know, the that looks good. You know, uh, put on uh, shoe. Whatever. So these are the uh, we eat breakfast. Now these are things we do, right, before getting out in the morning. So so again, there are uh, several steps we do, right. Going from one place to another. Again, we have to figure out uh, the uh, how to get there. You know uh, what are the uh, uh <coughs> what are the steps basically if you're, uh, if you're driving on your own. Uh, we, which is the uh, uh, road to take, you know, which uh, where to turn, so on. So again, it's a series of steps, right? Or if you are taking public transportation, you know, so how many buses we need to change and uh, where to change. You know, so the step one is the fir first uh, first segment it can be. So, so several segments you can consider, right? So, so what's uh, common for all these activities again? It's really a series of steps or sequence of steps, right? So the in programming, it's it, it, in programming also it's very similar. You know, you have a lot of steps we are doing in program, and uh, we have to follow it in sequence. So you can specify a sequence of steps in your program. So uh, later we'll cover uh, several examples you know so these are just concepts okay several examples we'll cover using Alice <coughs> let's cover a few more activities so so you want to go somewhere so you are going to we, we have car in the home so you have to make a decision whether you're going to take the car or go and uh, take a public transportation take a bus to reach the destination so let's say you're a let's assume you're a student and uh, so you have to decide fr uh, friday evening you have to decide or saturday evening depending on uh, whether saturday is a working day um <coughs> you have to decide uh, whether to go for a movie or uh, uh, stay stay uh, stay at home and study um okay uh, let's say your uh, family lives very far away from where you are so you want to go home for holidays so um, so you have to decide whether to fly maybe take a flight or uh, drive a car or maybe even take a public transportation right so so everyday decision uh, when you're going to work or even uh, to study um, to college or school whether to carry a lunch box or uh, if the lunch is available there in a cafe or canteen uh, whether to get the lunch there so what's the common 
uh, thing to all of these things there's a question mark in the end in every line and uh, it, it kind of involves a decision right it's a uh, we have to make a decision uh, based on the decision um, based on decision we are going to do two different things right two or more different things so we call in programming uh, again it's a decision or a selection or a simply as if statement so if something uh, do something else do something else okay so so this is a selection structure or a decision structure or simply as if statement we call it okay let's consider a few more activities um, a box full of cookies so you are ready to eat and uh, so how will you eat uh, cookies from your box and uh, let's say um, a student again and uh, they have to take the exam that has uh, several questions you know, not as exciting as eating cookies from your box um, you got to do what you got to do right so answer the exam that has several questions um, you're going to your store um, you need to uh, get your list of items uh, whether it's by your parents or your own list so you did make a list very organized so you have a, a list of items to buy so you go into grocery store and uh, take care of those things <coughs> moving all items from one room to another uh, so you have a lot of items so you cannot move them in one shot uh, so you want to let's uh, let's keep it simple you're going to move all these items one by one okay so you're moving all the items from one room to another right so what's a common thing for uh, all of these so all of these involve uh, repeating the steps right eating cookies from your box you open the box and uh, let's assume you're very hungry so you're eating going to eat one cookie or uh, chips you know if you want to call it chips that's fine um, so cookie or chip you know eat one at a time and uh, uh, keep going until either box is uh, empty or uh, uh, your tummy is full right answer the exam that has several questions well you keep answering uh, uh, one question at a time you know so then uh, you reach the uh, uh, final question you do the final answer then uh, uh, then we are relieved that you have finished the exam right next one uh, list of items at grocery store you go to the grocery store look at the first item get the first item then look for the next item go get the next item so on just keep repeating until you reach the end of the list right next one very similar you go to their room get take the item move to the another room and uh, place the item in appropriate place go back to the um, original room get the next item you know and uh, take it to the new room and uh, place it again keep repeating it again and again and again until all items are taken care of so it's a repetition of the um, <coughs> of your step so particular step you can write down and we can uh, really repeat it again and again until a condition is reached okay so we call it repetition loop or iteration okay so all programs all computer programs just like our real life have only three control structures sequence decision and repetition okay so these are they, these structures are very similar to activities we do every day okay so and when you're writing a program computer program really you are given a problem description you think about a high level idea then you write uh, from the high level idea you can write a detailed pseudo code you know how you are going to solve it then um, so kind of like a detailed steps okay it's kind of uh, uh, English uh, you can write down steps in English 
you know just list of steps then we implement it in specific language translate that steps to a specific programming language then when you compile it becomes executable program okay so again key thing to remember is that all programs you know however complex they may be it's a really a combination of this uh, three control structures sequence and decision and uh, repetition okay thank you so much for listening bye